Welcome back, welcome back. Episode three. Last episode was very interesting. I feel like the game had us manipulating scenery in order to open doors and see different things that wasn't there before. I think that was very interesting. I feel like I'm hoping and I'm wondering what this episode is going to bring. And I hope this episode or this chapter into the game brings such excitement because I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, man, let's go. When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And then she saw them. Elusive. Shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere. In the trees. The mountains. Caves. What's gonna happen next? Okay, I think we gotta go this way. I hope I'm going the right I way. Wonder. Can you see the faces too? They're there. If you look for them. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. That's cool. Did you see her? W mother. That was her mother. W. Galina. She was a priestess. A healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. She's still watching over. She misses her so much. I felt that. I miss my mom too. I know she's watching though. Time let's go, yeah. This is what we worked so hard for. So open up this gate. Why let's go. Open the gate. Open the no, gate. Don't. Don't. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Here but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? 
I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. That's crazy. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from life. Why is she staring at you? I like that. That brought it nearer. Led it to him. An endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender, abandoned to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this might be it, yeah? Oh. Yeah, I'm already on it. Let's go. This is for Dylan. Uh. Quickly get up! 
Get up to you, come on. She's hurt. Right She's now. injured. She won't make it. Yo, why can I? Yo, I died, yo. All right, all right, all right. It's my first time on, first game on. Come on. Yeah, why is it? Come on, y'all. All right. Five eyes, I won't die again. Five eyes, I won't die again. Damn, 
Alright, 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 all right. come on, son. Please don't die. Please don't die. I'm not doing all that over again. Please don't die. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, why are you flexing like that? that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. This is those three symbols, but... Am I not at it? Okay, that wasn't there before. <sighs> All right, so 
close to the second one. I might put this game in top 10. It's going in top 10. Or at least in my opinion. My. My. The gods will punish you for this. Yo, Pick what up is the that? sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight yes, it. I'm scared too. What the fuck Get is up. that? Get up. Get up oh. and fight. Oh, nah, bro. What is that? I know they're not expecting me to fight that for real. <laughs> Give me a gun. Get the gun. I think it's time to upgrade to a gun. That's what they gonna do it this time. Still like, like a little 45, a little 38, something. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake? And we only see what our inner eye creates for us. Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must enough, accept bro. that yours <laughs> might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless, weak, pathetic. Go on, feel sorry for yourself because there's no one left to do that for you. Everywhere. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just like your sword. Come on. 
Send me a shot. Why go on when you give everything and face that which torments you? Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song. Recognize that voice? It's a trick, don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? Do you still believe in me, Shah? No, it's not. It's a trick. She knows it's not. It's a trick. He's already dead. You can't. He can't be here. It's impossible. Tell him. Come to me. I know she got knocked over the bridge, you know. I know she got knocked out. Like, I'm not disputing that. But, like, sometimes you gotta appreciate the beautiful things around you, you know? <laughs> Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. So wild. Like this one. Barren and lonely. Y'all really think it's Dylan guiding her or I think it's someone else? And the world danced with him. The gloom lifted. And for the first time in years, she felt a ray of hope. Am I really supposed to go this way? I know I've seen a door up there. So. Check this. Let's check this door.
The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, so really they are met with an army, not a warm crazy. welcome. King right, Sigir guys, captures Sigmund and his brothers. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. It's a trick, it's an illusion. It's not real. <laughs> Do you really it's what you want to believe it to be a it's a trick? <laughs> They done put sending with those she deserves. All the happiness has come our way. Honestly. So How happy she looks. Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. Homebody. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No okay. one. Well, I I watched you, and you learnt all of that from watching me. <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dilly. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! I'll take it back. He's not helping me. He's making it worse. <laughs> Shane, what? Dillion? Is that you? I'll find you, my Promise. Yo, y'all find somebody that looks at you like Senua looks at him. Or looks for him. Can you see him? You want to believe it. Is, Is he there? not real? Is he there? You're alone in these mountains. Is that Delia? Nothing lives here. You won't survive. 
You met him by the tree. She met him by the tree. Maybe it's a sign, the tree. What's he trying to tell you? He's waiting for you by the tree. Wait, so now that she got no sword no more, like, is she gonna shoot her hands? Like, she gonna throw the hands up? I'm curious. I wanna see that. I'm curious. No sword. Was she gonna throw her hands up and get busy? Get closer. What can you see? Go to it. It's not safe. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Mm. Very alone. So each side has a trial. All right, yeah. They did say that. It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury okay. death. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning.
I'll find him. Y'all doing all this? And be honest, the guy. What's that? Y'all doing all this? Did you hear that? Nothing. Was that voices? Is that the hidden voice or the voices are dead? Not Dillian. Dillian's calling to you. Can you hear him? Where is he? He sounds like he's getting further away. <gasps> have you lost him? You're going the wrong way. Are you lost and have you lost him? Don't touch the mouse. Well, you don't know what they might do. Turn back. <sighs> she has to keep going. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. I can hear him. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Can you go? You're failing. Find a think, think, way. Think, 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 focus. <sighs> Use your mind. Where's he gone? He's disappeared. You don't recognize it. Don't doubt yourself. You'll never find it. She You're doesn't hungry. recognize Always it. Always are there. Yes, you do. You know. She doesn't. Listen for his voice. Listen. Dillian. Where Listen are you? Listen for his voice. Does Dillian. everything look the same? Looks the same. Something's different. Look for clues. What is it? What's different? There's a clue. Look. It's not him. It's not we told you. We told you it was a trick. It's a skinwalker. <laughs> Yo, I keep coming. Oh. Maybe this way? Okay, I'm, I'm starting to understand uh, I keep going in circles. <laughs> Where are we? She has no idea. We're going round in circles. You okay. have fallen in. You think that sound is Dillian's <laughs> voice? the same. I'm not comprehending what to do here.
no, no, no. She doesn't think to she listen to them. She, she wants think. us. She needs us to help her. Think clearly. What do you need to do? <gasps> she needs us. What do you do? You need to tell her what to do. Another strategy. She, she needs to think. She needs to think. She needs to think. think. Shh. Give her space. <gasps> You'll last forever. What are you gonna do when the torch runs out? We'll wander around until it gets dark. Oh. And then what will you do? Will you save yourself? There's so nothing that will come to claim you again. Nothing you can do. Yo, where am I supposed to go? Fast forward. <laughs> you fast forward, I'm lost. Alright, what up? Walk through the dark? Got x-ray vision now? Night vision? 
Bro. All right. Extinguish the flame. Just gonna walk through the dark now. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief answer. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you. No. They will turn their back on you! The gods can only fix you through my hand! You're going nowhere! No! You will not defy the gods! I am leaving! She upped the sword on him. <laughs> you cannot escape the darkness. She upped it on her. Your so curse upset. will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! <laughs> Sorry, up the sword on him. It's done. You did it, but there's more. Can you do another one? There's more. Alright, so that's the first ruin done. And I think we have time for another one. Hmm. Do I do all do I have to do all of these or just one? Oh actually okay, okay, okay. I know what to do, I know what to do. After we complete one, I think we gotta go back up there, right? Cause it's only okay. Hold on. Okay, that's cool. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Okay, it's the next one, yeah. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older, and where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. What is this place? This place feels it's creepy. Creepy. I like the scene where he changes it. Where is it? Where are we? Turn back. This is wrong. This has to be wrong. This place stinks. Ah. Oh. There he is. There Dillian. he is. The light. Do y'all really think that's Dillian for real? Or y'all think that's something else? Follow him. Don't let him disappear. 
Where's it gone? Kikai, how do you find it? It's just a trial. I don't remember Val Raven had illusion tactics that made us think things were there and it wasn't. It's a test. Hmm. Like the old warrior trials. Dalian will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing when they knew that she was not like that. You have to find Dillian. Oh. Suppose I get up there. Like I see the door. I see there's a pattern. Hundred percent of the brain now. The Northmen speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm. And first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. That is not the end of it. Because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware. Because there will be death in that house. Climb what tower though? Like, I feel like it would be helpful, you know, to just, you know, show them the way. And that's all I ask. What tower? What tower? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I saw nothing. I heard nothing. The trial get well to the house. Done. You succeeded. Okay. I'm so smart. Come to me. Where are you? 
I'm here. I'm right here. Paris, are you in there? Find him. You have Come to find him. Well. The rules. Focus. Dillian! They're coming for me! Chill, chill. Y'all ain't hear shit, bro. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear nothing. What the fuck is that following me, though? Like, what is that? All right. There it is. Huh? It's close. It's close. Move away. Someone move away. Feel it. You'll die. Run. Run. What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. 
My children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. That doesn't make no What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. You're wrong. Oh, I'm loving this. What to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. Okay, I think, I think this is the end of that room part. Been but... fooled before. All right, everybody. This is when we're going to end episode three. This has been such an experience. The story, the storyline so far. I feel like the story is creeping up into sending his journey into the darkness. And I'm excited to get back to episode four, which is going to come out probably tomorrow the next day but this has been such a ride i want to appreciate everybody for watching thus far and staying with me um if you like the video like comment subscribe <laughs> i had so much fun making this video and this episode i can't wait to finish this game so i'm trying to do that as fast as i can but once again i want to thank everybody for watching thank you so much this means a lot to me my journey on youtube I'm gonna try to keep going and yeah hope we grow together and hope See, and I want to see where this takes us, you know, so thank you once again, everybody. <laughs> All right. See y'all next time. <laughs>